Okay, so hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the Halloween texture pack. So as you can see, this texture pack is the official 4J texture pack. It's made by 4J Studios, and honestly, it looks really cool. So as you can see, these are like the trapdoors. Now this design looks a bit like the creaking because of the orange eyes. This is the jungle door. Again, all these door designs are so unique. Like they all look unique. My favorite one has to be the bamboo door because it's got like this pumpkin texture on it. It looks like oh, and this one as well. Like these are super cool, and the paintings are all like Chris uh, Halloween. Why I say Christmas? All right, these are all like Halloween decorations, as you can see. Like these are actually look super cool, all right? Um, so then we've got the blocks right here, you got the chisel bookshelf. So, and yeah, this is updated to 1.21 because you can see the mace has been updated, which makes me curious, what does the key look like? Okay, so the key looks like that. What about the heavy core? Is that the heavy core? Wait, really? That's the- oh, because it looks like a- oh, it's a pumpkin! Okay, that's- that's kind of cool. I guess you can see all the items. These are all pretty unique. It's gonna be a hard to tell. I'm gonna try my best to play with this texture pack. Okay, I like the fact that all the dyes look like that. That's frog spawn, that's frog spawn. So yeah, everything just looks a little bit... Ooh, wow, look at the skulk. It's like animated. This is really cool. And it's also got custom music and everything. Oh god, okay, that's clever. The brush looks like a broomstick. Okay, that's clever. But yeah, this is pretty... Okay, where does the smithing templates look like? Oh, this is also updated, too. Um, wait, let's see. Trim? Oh, so that's what the trims look like. Okay. Also, the boats look really cool, too. Like, look at that jungle boat. Again, the jungle boat has this really cool design with the eyes. Oh, the chest. Oh, it's like a mimic. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's interesting. They changed the fletching table, even though it has no use. Oh, so the UI is different as well. You can see it's like orange. Which looks pretty cool. So you can see this is the wood. Um, pretty cool. The stone blocks. That's the... Uh, okay, that's glowstone, right? That has to be glowstone. Yep, glowstone. Oh, it's even animated too. Whoa. That really does look like the creaking, right? Like, I can't believe the one who thinks that looks like the creaking. Because the orange... Oh, okay, now are these... Oh, polished andesite, polished diorite, and polished granite actually look kind of nice. The only thing that's a little disappointing is the fact that mud is just a recolored thing. Like, that's that's just a little disappointing. Um, oh, the crafter. Oh, the crafter looks kind of evil, actually. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm guessing these are structure blocks, which... That looks like blood. Actually, what the hell? Wait, this... Okay, that's interesting. Command blocks. Uh, end rods, lightning rods, daylight detector, redstone components target okay so then we've got the ores over here pretty interesting looking the glass um now i like how the shulker boxes look like a jack-in-the-box i think that's pretty clever and the glazed terracotta looks very desaturated though that's a little disappointing uh the candles also look a little desaturated as well oh the fire is green i just noticed mm, i think this is the brown concrete also, the spyglass is different, as you can see. Um, and the pumpkin. The pumpkin does have a custom overlay, as you can see. Oh, really? That detected? Oh, yeah, so that's what a smoke shrieker looks like. Oh, wow, that is kind of scary. Oh! Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, that's animated, too. Wait, is that the skulk? Oh, that's skulk. Okay, that's actually really unique. The fire is also really cool because it's like different colors. You got br um, pink and green. What is this? Oh, that's shroom light. Okay. Warped nether block. Okay. Mm. The skulk looks actually kind of cool. Um, got some natural blocks. Got the ancient debris, which I'm just not noticing. I. Uh, the copper grates are also updated. Oh, the slime block. Looks like a ghost. Honey block looks almost the same, which is a little disappointing. I love the drip leaf, by the way. This is kind of cool. It's got, like, a face. The fossils. I mean, the, the coral blocks. I like how this one, the tube looks like little bones. I think that's kind of clever. 
Um, the bamboo looks like a bunch of bones. Oh, now the pottery, the the sh the uh, pots. Oh, that's cool. They look like um, they're made of black. I like. Okay, so this is like the costumes. You can see there's like Frankenstein. There's like a vampire, a clown. And one thing I really like is the fact that the vaults look like a skeleton. Like, look at that. That's pretty cool. And so when you go away, the eyes turn off. Like, that's actually kind of clever. And I think this is a trial spawner. I'll have to see what this looks like in a, uh, in like a, tr in like an, um, drop chamber. But you can see these are like the copper doors, which have like this really cool rust on them as well. The, uh, copper bowls. I actually want to see what these look like when they're lit up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's actually kind of spooky. That's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, so then we got the plants, which, oh, okay, that's a little spooky. Um, so some of them are animated, interestingly enough. The dandelion and the poppy are both animated, which looks really cool. I kind of wish the rest of them were animated. So as you can see, the trees have this really desaturated effect. Now I like the fact that the cocoa beans look like bats, I think that's kind of clever. Now this dark oak tree looks suspiciously similar to the pale garden tree. Like this bark texture looks, like if you were to grayscale this, it would look exactly the same. Like it looks, it looks suspiciously similar, right? And this is the mangrove propagules. And the cherry tree is quite interesting. I think these are meant to be spiders that are coming off the tree. Yeah, I think these are meant to be spiders with like little webs, yeah. That's kind of unique, I guess. Uh, I got the mushrooms. The brown mushroom block actually looks really nice. Um, oh god, that looks like skeleton. It looks like a spine or something. Oh, that's a bit spooky. Oh, whoa, it's like it's like animated. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's really clever. Uh, let's actually check out the... Oh, the nether port looks a bit spooky. Uh, oh! Oh, wow. Oh, the lava is orange. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, it's like orange. Uh, I mean, what am I saying orange? It's green. Holy crap, that's cool. That makes another look like a completely different dimension. In fact, while we're here, we're gonna check out the hoglin. Oh, the hoglin looks like a skeleton. We got the piglin, which surprisingly looks quite normal. Then we got the piglin brute, which has like a unibrow. Then we got the warden, which I'm not sure what the warden's meant to be. Looks a bit scary because it's like a red. Um, so then we got the mobs. Okay, the ravager is at least not that terrifying. Got the polar bear. Okay, the chicken actually looks demented. Does the bee look kind of demented? No. Yeah, again, okay, a lot of these are like skeletons, which I think is kind of clever. Then you got the breeze, which looks like a ghost, I think. Like a ghost with souls around his body. Um. I love the fact that the sniffer looks like a skeleton. Same with the uh, camel. I think that's really clever. And they got the illagers. Okay, the phantom actually looks kind of cool. Uh, now, what does the bug look like? Oh, the bug is like a green skeleton. Okay. The iron gum looks like Frankenstein. Oh, the strider looks really cool, actually. The frog. Yeah, these are actually some pretty cool designs. Um... The armadillo. For some reason, the armadillo's got the front-facing eyes, but also the side. Okay, is that a mule? Or is that a donkey? Oh my god, that is actually kind of cool. It's got no legs. Okay, the axolotls. Um, okay, let's actually check out. Okay, look at that end portal too. Whoa, that's trippy. Oh, okay, that's a little bit... Oh, because it looks like brains. I just noticed, yeah, the, the end still looks like brains. That's cool. That's actually a bit spooky. Okay, so what does the other oh, the ender dragon look like? Oh, so it's like a skeleton. That's cool. And I'm curious. Uh, what does the um the end gateway look like? Just to see. Ah, okay, that's clever. So these look like eyes. Okay, that's interesting. I'm just now noticing, uh, what does the beacon look like? I don't think I have the blo the beacon block anywhere near here, but whatever. So yeah, that was a pretty interesting texture pack review, actually. Um, pretty interesting texture pack, if I'm being honest. It's very fitting for Halloween. Wait, do I have the beacon anywhere? 
I don't think I do. I'm now realizing that the beacon is the one block that I'm missing here. Oh, well, oops. Wait, do I really not have a beacon anywhere? Wait, what? No, surely I do, right? Nope, somehow I forgot the beacon. Okay, well, whatever. So yeah, that's pretty interesting texture pack actually. Uh, it's 990 mine coins. I think it's pretty worth it, although it's only really useful for Halloween. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed.